game is so hard! I don't know what to do! Zebra's amazing walkthroughs! Hey guys, Mr. Zebra Gamer here with part 3 of Let's Play Yoshi Safari, and this part we'll be finishing up the first world. Yes, I know that this part's a little late. I planned on this part actually being uploaded two days ago. But I recorded it twice, didn't like either of the recordings very much. But after messing with my settings a bit, let's hope this one seems better. Um, yeah, I cannot record. Um, I cannot record yesterday either because I was feeling pretty darn sick. I usually don't like to record when it's either dark outside or or if I'm feeling sick at all because it usually puts a gander in how it comes out in the end. But in this part, it looks like we're going... It looks like we're on a bowling alley, almost. Right now, we're taking out shells, and we have more water around us. But, um... In some of the previous parts, I, um... Sort of mentioned these guys coming up. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, these jumps right here, you can see there's speed boosts to them now, so they are a lot harder. But I mentioned, um, the little squid guys, and I mentioned how I forgot their names, um... Some commenters did help me out with that one, and um, they're about to come up actually around this corner, I think. Yeah, right here. These guys are actually called bloopers, if you did not know. I did know that, because um, I remember one of the characters was named Blooper from Mario Party 8. I just forgot it, it's in my mind. But the thing is, though, like, my friend was like talking about a blooper reel he wanted for his Let's Play, and as soon as he said it, it hit me. I was like, oh yeah! Alright, this boss not that hard. You'll just need a lot of power, because, uh, you need to block off six bullets, instead of just, like, usually, like, four or five. You have, like, six different areas. You want to, um, hit him right in his armpit, right where, um, his arm connects to the, um, body, pretty much. This mechanic octopus. <laughs> Metal Squidward! This isn't even an octopus, this is a squid. So, oh, you know what, I know, that sort of makes sense, that sort of makes sense. <laughs> Metal squid. <laughs> Metal gear. After you get his arms down, like I should be in a second, if I wasn't being so bad at shooting today, there you go, he will um, start hopping out of the water, and you want to shoot these um, arms that he has. Overall, this boss fight's not that hard. Just gotta just stay, uh, with it. Can't believe I missed out on that. Almost there. There we go. Alright, and he dies, and... And there's another Koopa with his super mega rainbow hair. I like that pedo smile that Yoshi gives you. The simple joys of this game. I've actually had a few fans tell me that they started playing this game ever since I started Let's Playing it, and that's really cool. <laughs> I never, like, I, I don't know, those those little things I find are really cool. Um, and th now we're gonna um hop into this castle right here, the Castle of World One, and this area is pretty cool as well. Ready, sick, go! Alright, now they're going to actually be pretty fast paced, um, here. They're going to drop, like, they're going to drop the little, um, shell guys that the Lakitu's would drop, and it's sort of, um, not very good if you hit at least one of them, because it knocks you off track, like, pretty easy. And so does getting hit by anything, especially at this fast paced level. It's like, you want to focus on running, not running out of power. But, um, now we got these fire guys, as you can see that, um, this is sort of, like, where the point where, um, the game starts, uh, like, I would say, like, the, the, um, the difficulty just gets a lot harder. They got constant jumping, uh. I like the graphics, though, like, I like this background and stuff, I wish they sort of had, like, a Mario Kart level like this. Because, it, I don't know, it looks really cool, you know, like, how, like, the atmosphere of it. Out for these shells, I guess. 
Like, I would like to see a track like that, like a track in the sky and all you see is like this nice whitish water with that kind of background. That was nice. Right, looks like we have another underwater segment. Oh no, we're falling out of the sky. What is this? Yoshi better brought his parachute. <laughs> Somebody get me my cape. Alright, um... Alright. Now this boss fight can be a little challenging, I gotta say. I'm sure it's surprised I'm this low on health, too. There you go. I already got his first arm down and he hasn't even tried to attack me yet. Um, what you're gonna have to do is shoot his hands off. Now he tries to spin his hands around and throw the bombs at you. But no, looks like I actually took him out fast enough to the point where he didn't attack me with him. Which is pretty odd. There you go. Now he just gets a little pissed off. Just a little bit, just that. Just to the point where he grows bullets on his face. <laughs> Concealed weapon or a balloon? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty weird though. It's all like, isn't fire supposed to come out of there? I mean, isn't that sort of burning him a little? There's supposed to be like a fire compartment to make the thing raise up. <laughs> Yoshi's just sitting there smiling at me while we fall in the sky. You sh I think you should sort of think about, you know, surviving. And we ne get another jewel. So why does it matter? Alright, so we do have enough time to switch on to the next level, I think. I'm not sure. Well, now, you've saved me. Thanks! But they still have five gems. As well as my son, Prince Pine. Now, go to dar the, the Dark Realm to get them. To return peace to this land. Finish collecting the gems and save the prince. I'm counting on you. So now we're going to go to the second world. More walking, and more and more, and a pipe! <laughs> Is this next world underground? It sort of looks like it. Well, it reminds me of that Zelda game um, for the Super Nintendo, uh, uh, Link to the Past, where it's that dark world. Alright, let's hop into world. I'm gonna hop into level 8, finish stuff up in there, and probably finish up the part. I got some. Rocks in the background. Rocky rocks. Got some Koopas too. The level design can get a little com uh, com uh, uh, repetitive. I, I gotta say that. Like, it doesn't seem like they really introduce that much stuff besides landscapes and music. It just seems like recycled levels almost. But I have not much to complain about. If it was if it was a longer game, I'd complain more about it. But since it's such a short game, and I should be finishing it by the next part, I, I, I would complain about it more. But it don't really bother me that much. This mini boss is cool. Um, you'll um just keep on shooting at it until um you kill like kill one of them, and then after you kill one of them off, it'll turn into a red one and try to straight on attack you. You can see I only have two left. Ah! Give me an uppercut there. There we go. Get a mushroom out of a two. Yahoo! <laughs> ooh, ooh, Monty Mole! I don't think these guys are called Monty Moles. The, the big guys with the sunglasses, I think, are Monty Moles. But I am not completely sure. It's funny enough, I actually have beaten Super Mario World, which, which is like, of course I've beaten Super Mario World. But it seems like I haven't beaten any good Nintendo game. From what I've seen, or what people have told me. I'm not going to get into that now, just because I don't want that many fanboys on me right now. So we got some pipes approaching. And more moles. Challenger approaching! <laughs> Literally. Boss time, oh yeah, dead end. What if it just like, dead end, dead end, dead end, game over. Alright, who do we have this time? Ah, oh, Koopas. What is his name? What is his name? Uh, it starts with a letter. Let me think. Kamek, that's what you are. 
Alright, he really isn't that hard if you have decent reactions. Like, and even if you, he gets, does get the best of you, all you have to do is shoot it, and it's not really that hard to dodge. Like, as you can see, he's, like, basically almost dead already. It's like, even if I was on in any type of harm, I could easily use the mushroom to help me out, and it would help me out, like, a lot. And there we go, already done. Like, look at all that health. Oh, God, no, what was it? What is this? He grew. He grew faster than the Grinch's heart. Kamek grew three times the size that day. Still not really that hard. If anything, it just makes him an easier target to hit. Looks like he's holding, like, that children's, like, a children's toy to them. I'm going to shake my toys at you. Yeah, I've never seen Kamek as a threat, ever since I was a kid playing the Mario games. He's just one of those characters that I never found threatening. What's how the game skip there sounded like? That won't it be good. Still not that hard. Like I said, if anything, it's just easier. There we go, he turns to dust. And <laughs> we still didn't lose that much health. Alright. I guess I'll wrap this part up now. Um this will be Mr. Zebra Game with part three of Let's Play Yoshi Safari. I hope you've enjoyed watching and um have a Zebra Tastic day. This has been Mr. Zebra Gamer. <laughs>